I think people from the feedback that I got from Facebook, I think a lot of people are very angry, very upset. Uh, so I also, also receive uh, some SMS from a concerned uh, public that they say they'll pray for me. And there is one sent me an SMS, ask me, please don't give up Malayu, not everybody is like that. So I feel very moved and touched by all these uh, concerned uh, uh, friends and uh, citizens uh, that they offer prayer, they give me encouragement. So uh, I also want to thank all our Pakatan Rakyat our leaders. They also have been speaking up on this matter. Since you launched the police report on uh, two days ago, yeah. uh, has the SMS no. the anonymous calls no. harassment stopped? It's, it's how of them have, have come in again, all this uh, SMS, all these nonsensical calls at midnight and so on. Uh, it is, they are still coming in. So today, in fact, we'll, my, uh, we'll give another pile of all these uh, print out of the SMS and the numbers and give to the police. So I'm still waiting for police, they, as they say that they want to open file, you know, to investigate me over the Chinese New Year clip. I'm still waiting for police to uh, do investigation on me. I'm nothing to be afraid of because I'm, I'm very clear with what, you know, the content uh, of the video clip. But I wish the police also can make open statement and say that they will investigate all these complaints of, uh, about all these SMS, all these uh, calls that come to disturb me in the past few days. What was the worst SMS or call you've gotten? Oh, the vulgar words, uh, so I'm malu nak check out. Why are you taking any extra okay. precaution? Huh? Are you taking any extra precaution to your safety? So far, um, because of my job nature, I have to go here and there, so I will still continue to play my role uh, that uh, as an MP. Uh, whenever that, uh, anywhere that is needed me to be present, so I will still be around. Uh, are you worried someone will act on the reward that they have put out? I cannot say whether I'm worried or not worried because I think um, uh, this kind of cause has also ang angered a lot of people. Uh, YP, since this is the second type of torture report, do you consider to make any civil suit on those uh, allegations? I will discuss this with my lawyers, I think, because this one is uh, uh, related to criminal, criminal offence, so the police has to take action. So I hope the police can view uh, this uh, issue seriously. How do you think that yesterday the police is at the you mean the police was at the protest there and they didn't take action? No, so they are doing something up, but they mm. action I, I, I mean, since there are police officers uh, who were there when they did the protest, I hope all these police officers can be eyewitnesses uh, to help the investigation of the case. Uh. Because since they are the witnesses, they have seen all these things. But do you expect I think now from what I see the trend is that you see things that I did not say that put words into my mouth and that I that I'm uh, you know run down the Malays and so on um, they will after this issue they will continue to look for another uh, leader of Pakatan Rakyat and there will be another issue that they will also put words into his or her mouth and turn it into a big thing uh, that uh, make people angry uh, against a leader. Do you think this is a prelude to the Kajang election? I have seen that they, if the way they did it to Li Kai Lun uh, in Penang, uh, that was before Kajang by election was declared, was announced. Uh, even that they already started. For me, I see this as a, a way they try to cover up a lot of serious issues in the country uh, where people are very unhappy uh, where, and also to cover up the, the problems within UPNO itself. That's why they have to like, use other issues to make the Malays see that look, all these Pakatan Rakyat leaders, they run down the Malays, they undermine the Malay rights. So, uh, you know, I, I, I see this as a part of the tactics. Uh.